So I run into homes that have multiple garage doors but have two different type of garage door motors. Yet when it comes to figuring out which wall button opens whichever door or closes whatever motor, that can get a little confusing. That's why in this video, we're gonna highlight a new universal wireless wall console and remote transmitter to provide you some needed simplicity to your busy lifestyle. Let's party. Hey party people, we are just meeting for the first time. My name is Santiago from SOS Garage Door Service and on this channel, we provide you pro tips and tech reviews for your residential garage door needs. And sometimes we review remote entry systems. Therefore, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And while you're at it, hit that like button. Now, full disclosure, the Genie Company is not sponsoring this video. They did, however, provide me this universal wall console that we're gonna be reviewing today. No money exchanged hands. In fact, they're not paying me to do this. Thus, the opinions in this video will be based on my time with this product. Now, what is a wireless wall console? Well, simply put, it's a type of wireless remote. A wall button or a wall control console can be installed near the entry door to your home. This button basically operates your garage door opener motor. In most cases, this is a button that requires wiring, but now you can go wireless. That is, you don't need to install wiring from the GDO over to the wall button now because of this universal wireless wall console. Big deal, so why not just use a regular wired wall button? When it comes to remote entry systems, it can be complicated using various or different remote transmitters or wall buttons from different brands. Say you have a Genie motor and a Chamberlain motor, which naturally would require two separate wall buttons. Now, that's not the end of the world, but for simplicity, you might want to consolidate the operation of both garage door opener motors with just one wall console. That's where this guy comes in because Genie has now made it possible with their universal wireless remote entry systems to program and operate two different brands of garage door opener motors, which I believe is completely genius. Now this can be beneficial, that is if you're trying to clean or keep clear wiring along your garage door ceiling or wall. Additionally, it can help you from having to find which button to operate which garage door, especially if muscle memory is not your strength. Moreover, you wouldn't have to worry about changing this wall button because it is future proof. That is, you would be able to utilize it on any new garage door motors in the event that you needed a replacement. Coincidentally, Genie has also come out with this right here, their universal wireless remote transmitter, the GU4T-BX. And this happens to program and operate just like their universal wall console. They have the same technology inside, it's just that one is for your entry door into your home and the other one you carry. This happens to be the red color version. They do have several colors and it's just basically for personalization if you wanted to carry the red one because you like red and you know if you wanted to give the blue one to someone else nevertheless what I like about this remote transmitter is that it has the four buttons that will allow you to program different brands of garage door opener motors and thus keeping that in mind it just allows you to have one transmitter to control them all. When it comes to programming these universal remote transmitters to a garage door opener, you wanna make sure that you consult Genie's website. In fact, they have a compatibility chart. You can see their compatibility chart right there. And being able to use that compatibility chart, you wanna take into account that if you have a specific brand, well, you will have to program it a specific way. So again, highlighting that if you do go with one of these universal transmitters or universal wall council, make sure, that is, check the compatibility chart to see if it will be, in fact, compatible. So let's see how easy these universal wireless wall council and transmitter program. Actually, I think I'm gonna program this to the 6170. So we have power to the universal wall console. You can see with that illuminating light right there. It's a little chonky boy, you know, it's a little uh, little thick. Uh, but again, it is a wall button. It's good, good design. It's got good build material. It is made of plastic, but you know, feels sturdy. Doesn't feel too heavy. Feels good in the hand. Just like that. Okay, that was pretty simple. Now, one thing I am noticing about this 
device is that it does not have a light feature. So I thought it had a light feature to it to where you could turn off the light. And as a point of reference, Genie does have another wireless wall console, but this wall console, the GWWC-P, is just for standard Genie motors. In other words, you should be able to use this just with Genie. You won't be able to use it universally, like with this product right here, but using this with Genie motors will allow you to have or be able to turn on the light uh, to your garage door motor. Let me show you how that works. Now this does have like a timer delay as you can see right there and that timer delay will allow you to give yourself anywhere from 10 to 15 up to 20 seconds for the motor to open or close and you can simply just press that once. The timer delay should go into green and then you'll hit the top button which is programmed to the 6170 and then after a certain time limit you should be able to have the motor operate. Yep. Nice. Let's program it to a Chamberlain. You have to press and hold the delay button until five seconds. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000. Then we're gonna hit the middle button four times. One, two, three, four. There we go. Sorry, that was really loud. Okay, so the whole trick was holding that delay button up to five seconds and then you have the three blue lights flash at the same time you press the button that you want to program up to four times for the yellow learn code button. You hit the delay button once, it should be programmed, you will get a green light. You press the learn code button on your motor, you press and hold down until you hear it click and it should operate like, and please forgive me for the noise. There we go. So the programming process is not the smoothest, yet it will work and you do have to go through the steps very meticulously so that you're able to get a connection. And again, you're able to utilize two different garage door opener motors with one wall console, which is genius because you're able to save money and not having to have multiple wall consoles or multiple remote transmitters. In fact, why don't we program a remote? So how we have to program, we're actually gonna program the number two button to this motor. Hold down the number two button, press the number four button, one, two, three, four. Program one, two, three, four. Okay, then it goes out. Hit the learn code button and we will... By the way, I have to give a really big shout out to my local Genie rep, Simmons Norwood, for helping me acquire this wireless universal wall console. Now there's one more feature that I wanna highlight here, and that's basically how with the little blue light, obviously that flashing blue light will drain battery life to your batteries. So to save on that battery life, you're able to go into like an alternative programming feature that will lower or lessen the light blink and thus save battery. You can even do it to where there's no light blink, but you would want to probably lessen the blinks, again, to save on battery life. Now I'm gonna call it, this universal wireless wall console from Genie is a party, especially if you're looking to consolidate the operation of your multiple brand garage door openers just with one button. Thus by extension, I also feel that the universal wireless remote transmitter is also a party. And I like the fact that it has a little bit of personalization. So if you're able to find one or a color that you like, go with it. Thus, if the Genie Universal Wireless Wall Console, the model number GUWWC-P, sounds like a party to you, well, there will be an affiliate link down below. I'll also have an affiliate link for the Universal Wireless Remote Transmitters. Again, I think these things are great, of course, if they fit your needs. In fact, the pro tips, techniques, and ideas in this video should not even be considered law or infallible. Why? Well, because I'm nobody. But at the same time, when we're talking about remote entry systems, it's important for you to understand your needs and your garage door systems. And if you don't want to do that, if you don't care to know about your garage door entry system needs, then reach out to a contractor because that's what we're there for. Now, if you have an older GDO, it might not make sense to upgrade your remote entry system. Perhaps you wanna upgrade the motor itself. Thus, YouTube is going to suggest this video right here, but I'm actually going to encourage you to watch this video right here on some of the great garage door opener motors that are out right now. I wanna thank you all for parting with me, and as always, 
Y'all stay safe.